Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thanksgiving. I had to do a video for the second channel too because I wanna get all of the happy Thanksgivings out there. I hope that you guys are having the best holiday so far. And if you're not excited for the food, then get excited for the shopping. And if you're not excited for the food or the shopping, then just get excited for holiday videos because all of our favorite movies are going to be coming back for the rest of the month into next month which is my favorite time of year. So with that, guys, we're actually back to talk about NeNe Leaks. And Andy Cohen was on Radio Andy, and he explained a few things from the Salt Lake City reunion. So we're going to address that too. And there's a video of NeNe with someone who we didn't expect. There's a lot to discuss. So before we jump in, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right in. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk about this Nini leak situation really quick because now we're hearing something totally different. Now, it came out from realityt.com, but they said, I'm sure diehard fans of Nini Leaks are hyped that there's buzz surrounding a possible but not likely return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. After Nini left the Real Housewives of Atlanta, she went nuclear on both Bravo and Andy Cohen, and she also recently teamed up with Bethany Frankel and seemed to get in on the reality TV reckoning, which took place between 2023 and, well, also 2023. <laughs> While the reckoning hasn't really taken over, BravoCon did, and that was where Andy spoke on possibly having Nini return to Bravo, and he was definitely ambiguous and made sure not to say anything negative, which turned into chatter about Nini's big comeback. Now, there was speculation that something big was about to happen, and it turns out it might take a minute if it happens at all, but the messenger ended up sharing the scoop. They said an insider shared that there have been no talks of Nini returning to Atlanta at this time, but we all know that the show is in big trouble, and we all know who could save it. Unfortunately, Nini burned a lot of bridges when she chose to sue Bravo and simultaneously insult Andy repeatedly. That said, it looked like something might be happening when Nini deleted all traces of Bethany and her Reckoning podcast from Instagram, and a source shared that it meant nothing. She was just cleaning up her feed. There was also excitement when Bravo followed Nini on Instagram and Nini followed back. Um, okay. You cannot say that it meant nothing. You don't just delete all of that, which was creating the biggest buzz for you in, the, in a long time. And Bethany was over here just like promising Nini these sweet nothings of like, you know, we're going to do something together and let's do a two-part podcast. And then from there, why don't you get your own show on a podcast? And, you you know, like I can help you with businesses. I can help you with the things. You don't just go from that to, you know what? I'm just going to delete all traces of you off of my social media. That's not how it works, guys. Nini has admitted that she would return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta for the fans, but she also probably needs the check since her departure from the show. Nini hasn't had a regular gig because she was busy trying to sue the network, and ultimately she wound up, they're saying dropping the discrimination suit, but I believe they settled. Andy and Nini might not be texting back and forth right now, but Andy's no dummy. Despite the unresolved personal feelings about Nini and her public bashing, he may pull a Hail Mary to put Real Housewives of Atlanta back on top. And they said never say never, which is, it's a good point. And then I was looking and I was like, what? in the hell is going on here because nini said that her and cynthia will never be in a good place again right um Thanks. listen <laughs> stay tuned we over here <laughs> All the things. Listen. Shall stay tuned. We over here. Guys, one more time. All the things. Listen. Shall stay tuned. We over here. Okay. So she literally just said that she would not be friends with somebody like Cynthia Bailey again. I have love for Cynthia, but I won't be friends with Cynthia. And now you're in Dubai with Cynthia, which I'm guessing you're going to see Chanel Ion and a few of the other Dubai housewives, which why not? That sounds like an amazing Thanksgiving trip. But what the hell is going on? 
are you guys now becoming friends again? So then they can kick out Drew Sedora and Sonia Richards Ross. So then our cast would end, ultimately be Marlo Hampton, Shibai Sheree, Candy Burris. I think that they definitely need to get Portia to come back to the show. Then you have Nene Leakes and Cynthia Bailey. That would save the show, to be fair. That would absolutely save the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So if they're smart, I mean, it's hard to come back from somebody suing you, you know, because then you you realize that anything that you do around them moving forward, you have to be careful because they've already initiated a lawsuit against you before. So you know that they're capable of doing it again. So I just don't know. I'm indifferent on this one. I'm indifferent. Maybe I'll put a poll up on the second channel and ask you guys what you think about this one. So moving on, I wanted to share another clip with you guys. Hold on, here we go. Let me just refresh. All right. So by wig, hello drama, which I love. By the way, the other one was the reality rundown. They said Andy Cohen clears up Mary Cosby's status at the reunion and takes on, I guess, Jen Shaw, the rumor that she called in. Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. You can definitely tell I'm not feeling good today. Can I debunk quickly two, uh, two rumors that came out of the Salt Lake two City rumors. reunion? One is people speculated whether Mary M. Cosby really did show up. She did show up. She was not out on the stage for the entire reunion, but she was out there for the exact right amount. And we it was a really interesting discussion with her. The second thing is, and I didn't hear this until yesterday on a call with a bunch of Bravo EPs, I didn't realize there was a rumor going around on reunion day, excuse me, that, sorry, John, the look John made when I just hiccuped uh, was that uh, Jen Shah like Skyped in from prison or something. Did no not happen. Did. did not happen. So if anyone was hoping for that, didn't happen. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that Jen Shah would have called in from prison, but what I have heard is that, they are going to want to eventually bring Jen Shaw back after she gets out of prison if the show is still on. I also heard that this reunion was wild and everyone is kind of freaking out over the fact that Monica Garcia had one of the first seats. Well, she had legitimately the seat right next to Andy and I'm sure she was happy about that. One, because it's like a status thing and two, because when everybody is going in on you, then at least you have like a space where you can be next to Andy and you kind of feel like you're like a little safe. I don't know. But I just want to pick your brains on this. I know it's Thanksgiving and I know that we have a lot of other things going on, like the Macy's Day Parade and Christmas and everything and shopping for tomorrow. But I am going to post a poll and ask you guys whether or not Nini's move was to get back in the good graces of Bravo. And she's going to hang out with the other Bravo housewives in, in Dubai. What? I think that she's definitely trying to get back on TV. $2 million a season is a lot of money for somebody to just be like, you know what? No, I'm going to walk away from that. Nobody wants to walk away from that. But guys, go ahead. Comment below. Before you go, smash that like button. Show some love. And if you feel like it, let us know so I can live vicariously through you what you're eating for Thanksgiving because I have no freaking clue. Love you guys.